Hello everyone, it's Trader Sam, and it has been nearly two years since I last worked on the Pirate Ship restaurant. Uh, unfortunately, things like life and work and everything else kind of get in the way. And when that happens, projects get put on the back burner, and the longer they're sitting there, the more I'm inclined to just let them sit there. One of the major things that have stopped me from working on the model even further was that I could never find a really decent video capturing software. And I didn't want to work on the model without at least capturing some of that work. But I found a program called OBS Studio, which after some tweaking actually works pretty well, at least for capturing video. If I capture audio, it kind of slows down and it can get choppy, so I have to record this audio separately, which isn't a problem, since most of my video is uh, time-lapse anyway. So we get the video all done and processed. All I needed, needed to do was to record the audio Unfortunately, it was about this time that the roofers came out and completely redid our roof, which took about a week. And that was about a week of them stomping around and hammering and slamming things down and nobody getting any sleep, so that delayed the video even more. When I reviewed the model, I was surprised at how much I had already done. I thought there was uh, some more modeling that still had to be done, but it looked pretty much finished to me. It just needed to be broken down, it started to be broken down into its individual parts and have those parts unfolded, which is what I started doing. I began with the display stand, the basic display stand, and undid that, and did that first. Unfortunately, I hadn't discovered OBS Studio, so there's no video of that, but I did start recording the unfolding of the outer, the ship's outer hull, which was pretty tricky because of those curves. model and unfold my paper models, I use an older version of Blender. I use a version that has a built-in Python script that automatically unfolds the parts. It's a little dodgy, but it does work if you're patient and you, uh, in the end, you mark the seams correctly. Otherwise, you kind of have to fiddle with it oh, and, and hope that it unfolds the first time. Otherwise, you have to continuously unfold it. And sometimes you have to kind of have to cheat and modify a few things just to get it right. But it does work, and it's probably probably the fastest way, for me at least, to unfold the parts.